Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl with Abby. For those of you who don't know, and if you didn't know, now you know. What's up and welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I achieved this gray color using the super duper fast and easy watercoloring method. This literally took me literally probably like five and a half minutes or under five minutes. This is my first time ever doing it. It's very easy, very simple, and very effective. Some things that I didn't mention during the process that I was doing it, I didn't end up getting any color on the actual lace. I think due to the water being hot, it doesn't stain your lace, which is amazing. Number two, my roots look darker because my wig, I actually dyed the roots brown before dyeing it gray. So obviously with the dye, it made the roots darker, which I personally love because I like I feel like it's more of a natural look, you know? And number three, it gave me a lot of dimension, like you guys can see, and it's picking up so nicely. It's not all one gray color, which is awesome for me because I love when my hair is like dimensions and when the light hits it, it looks like different colors. Yeah, like I feel like I'm gonna do this for every single wig now because I literally use 10% of the dye bottle like I use nothing which is amazing because doing this like hair shampoo hair shampoo will probably take me like three bottles of hair dye so this is definitely a super cheaper alternative as well but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and without further ado let's get started alright guys so as you can see here I have my boiling water I'm using a foil tray just because I don't have a clear tray. That's why my camera's angled like this so you guys can still see what's going on. So this is hot, 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 hot boiling water. And I'm mixing it with a door jet black because I want to get a gray color. Because I didn't have gray and I was like, let me go buy gray. But then I'm like, wait a minute, I could just mix black and see what happens. So you just want to mix it all together until it is solid and you don't see any streaks or anything of hair dye. There's no real way of testing if the color is right unless, you know, you dip it. So this is the wig that I'm using. It's a wig that's already 613. Um, it's one of my older wigs, but I said might as well try as opposed to doing it on a new wig because I don't know how this is going to turn out. So I'm just going to do a quick little test. Okay, yeah. I can already see it's going to be gray just by dipping the ends. So this is more than enough dye. Ooh, child. Yeah, this is gray gray. It's going to be gray gray. So I don't even, even need to dip it that much. I'm literally just going like this you guys can already see that so quickly it's taking the color and I'm probably not even going to edit all this out I want you guys to see how fast this dies this is going to be like two minutes and I'm not dipping the whole thing in completely because I don't want to get my whole wig wet because I hate when the wig cap is wet dip in as much as I can. I think the ends will be a little bit more gray because it took like more of the dye. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit more dye because as you guys can see a lot of it went away. And then now I'm going to switch it over to the front. So like that. Stay there. Your wig cap will get a little bit wet. I mean, it's pretty inevitable. But whatever. I'm going to open up the wig. So any part that I missed, I'm just going to repeat the process. This is obviously a little bit easier if you haven't already made your bundles into a wig because you could just dip it in. 
and not have a care in the world, obviously. And the really great thing about this is that you don't need a lot of dye, depending on whatever color you're trying to achieve. If I wanted to do this all with gray dye, I would need like 10 freaking bottles of gray, especially with the length that I have. So that's why I really like this method. So you don't need so much. gonna dip all the remaining all up in there let it get all up in there and what's really cool is it's gonna end up being different dimensions of gray and my last time just to get this little last piece. It soaked up all the water basically. It's still hot so just be careful. So this is the result that I got. That's so crazy. This took me less than five minutes. I just squeeze out all the extra water. It is so fast. Why did I not think of this before? Sitting there dying on the bundles. So this is the end result, you guys. I'm gonna blow dry it. And I'm gonna probably curl it up or straighten it and then I will show you guys how everything looks. All right, you guys, so this is the end result after I blow dried it. I actually let it air dry for a very long time till it was very, um, it wasn't damp. It was just a little bit wet. And then I blow dried it, which made it super soft because blow drying is unnecessary. It's adding extra heat to your hair. So if you do have the time, let your hair air dry. I added some nice cute wand curls in it and I just love the way that it turned out. It's really awesome. You guys know I change my hair every day, so I don't know how long I'm gonna keep it, but for now, it's super fun and cute. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys once again for watching if you made it all the way to the end, and you guys will see me in the next video.